Hey everybody, this is Travis. Um, just wanted to make a little video here. It's been a while. Uh, this is a list of my wife's favorite spring fragrances for her man. Uh, you know, we being fragrance heads don't um, don't always have the opinion of what the opposite sex actually want to smell. So I figured. You know, similar to the way that Dan and Amanda make their um, Amanda's Knows Best videos, I figured that um, <clears throat> I would basically have my wife do the same. So we took a couple hours and we created a, a list of all the fragrances that I own, um, you know, minus samples and, and whatnot. But, you know, basically from decants to travels to main bottles. And uh, this is the this is the the favorite spring fragrances that my wife created. It's a top 10 list and she put in two honorable mentions. So without further ado, here we go. The first one is this little beauty. Oh, and this is designer and niche together. We didn't make any sort of uh, split up and this is the way that they came out. Everything was done blind through index cards that were sprayed and she basically went through everything and this was her spring. Some of these are probably going to be shocking. Uh, anyway, number one. <clears throat> this is our uh, first honorable mention. Uh, this would be Cartier Roadster. It's a mint-based fragrance. Everybody knows. Uh, it smells really good. And uh, apparently my wife likes it enough that it was an honorable mention because she, again, really liked it. The second honorable mention was this designer, Prada Amber. Uh Everybody knows this as well. It's got a very luxurious, soapy, clean smell to it. And apparently my wife thinks spring. All right. On to the actual list itself. Uh, number one, I'm sorry, number 10 was uh, probably high on a lot of people's lists, uh, especially for summer. Um, for Pan's Luministe. Uh, it's one that I wear a lot. Uh, gin and tonic smells wonderful. Uh, I was a little shocked that it was as low as it was, but there it was at number ten for Pan's Lemon East. Just leave that kind of there. I'm not gonna put them in order. Uh, number nine was a designer, though it's kind of hard to come by in the United States. Uh, Guerlain Homme, uh, another mint-based fragrance. Apparently, my wife likes mint. Uh, but it's very, it's minty, there's some vanilla, woods, it smells great. I really enjoy it. Uh, number eight was a Creed fragrance, Royal Oud. Uh, this is one that is probably the only Oud-based fragrance that can really be worn year-round. It's kind of a fresh Oud, and I'm sure you'll be seeing it again in the other lists as well. Uh, it's definitely a favorite of my wife. Uh, so that was number eight. Uh, let's see, number seven was a Killian fragrance. That would be, I can't say it, can you? Straight to Heaven, anyway, whether you can or you can't would be Straight to Heaven uh, by Killian. Uh, cedary. Uh, is, but again, my wife thought that that was uh, what she wants a man to smell like come spring. Uh, number six. Some people uh, don't really view this as year-round. I do kind of wear it year-round just because of some of the things. It's from the House of Amouage, and that would be Memoir Man. It is a darker fragrance, but... There's mint, wormwood. It kind of has a green feel in addition to the incense and whatnot. So I do wear it year-round, and apparently my wife liked it enough so that it was uh, number six on the list. Uh, number five would be a Creed Decant from their from their exclusive line. That would be Jordan de Malfi. Uh, that's a split that I got in on from Dan. And... Um, it's a, a, definitely a unisex fragrance. Um, rose, uh, citrus, beautiful citrus. Uh, it's a wonderful fragrance uh, from Creed. Again, Jordan Damalfi in at number five. Uh, 
number four, another Creed. This one would be another Seam Imperial. Everybody knows this one. Uh, again, it's a beautiful fragrance. Uh, they watermelon note, but it's they they say there's actually no watermelon in it. It smells some sort of concoction in there gives it a watermelon feel, but uh, it's wonderful ambergris dry down. It's great stuff. Again, at number four, Millicene Imperial or Imperial Millicene, however you want to say it. Uh, number three, also from the House of Amouage, that would be Reflection Man. Uh, floral, jasmine, uh, but still masculine. Again, my wife really loves it when I wear it. Uh, as you can tell, it was number three. Uh, let's see, going to number two, we have from the house of James Healy, Oranges and Lemons, say the Bells of St. Clements. It's, uh, Oranges and Lemons, it's wonderful spring, spring and summer smelling fragrance, beautiful bottle as well, simplistic, but, but very nice. And then for number one, we have from the house of Creed for spring, Silver Mountain Water. And that would be the top on my list. So you can see for spring, that was my wife's take. Uh, Silver Mountain Water was number one. Uh, Creed did well with, with uh, four different creeds. And uh, Amouage did okay as well. Designers uh, didn't do as good. Uh, what do we got? Three designers and uh, two of them were just honorable mentions. So we'll see how they do in the future list. But again, this is my wife's spring take, uh, top 10, and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.